this is an adult channel. In this video, we'll be reviewing the Star Trek, the official Starships collection, Sona flagship. This is a special issue. It's not an XL issue. It's a special issue. Um, Sona command ship, uh, operational in the year 2375. Its length is 354 meters. Isolytic subspace burst is its form of propulsion, I guess. Its weaponry is favors, phasers, and you can see right here where there's no entry beside the isolytic subspace burst. It's been a while since I watched this movie. You know, getting a good look at some of these ships, because they move so fast, uh, you know, on screen, it, it gives you a deeper appreciation. And, I mean, just opening this page, and this is the first I've seen this. Uh, you, you see it is, is when I first see it. This looks really good. I, I, I really like it. Um, I remember seeing the ship on screen and I didn't think that much of it, but like I said, they go by so fast. Uh, the Sona leader operated a powerful ship that was fitted with illegal weapons. Adar Ruafol's flagship. The Sona flagship was a powerful vessel that was approximately half the size of the Sovereign class USS Enterprise the Enterprise E. Like the Sona, Ruafa was obsessed with prolonging his life and planned to harvest metaphysic energy from the Baku homeworld to regenerate himself. They basically had their skin straight. They basically had so many facelifts, that's why they looked like that. His uh, ship was inspired by a horseshoe and a piano. <laughs> and we get completely turned around by the VFX team. Uh, yeah, I mean, I thought this was the front in the movie. Yeah, I did. But when you look at this picture, that looks like the bridge. It looks like it's supposed to point that this way. <laughs> oh, man. And here's some uh, early composites, early drawings. Oh, Mr. Eves again. Eves started the design process by producing a series of loose sketches in blue pencil. These early sketches were meant to be for the Sona battleship, but he was confident they would also evolve into Ruafu's ship. That's a nice sweeping design. Once he had a design direction he liked, Eves inked over one of his sketches. The design was then approved by the producers. I enjoyed that movie. It had its problems. Eves looked, took the basic shape of this design and created a rounder, more muscular version, which he thought would suit the personality of the sonar leader. That is a pretty nice design, the way, especially the perspective that it's uh, written in. This, this sketch shows the finished design. Look, they, they misspelled design. D-E-S-G-I-N. <laughs> of Ruafel ship. It was originally meant to fly from right to left, and Eves added the energy trails after the VX, VFX team decided it should fly the other way round. <laughs> I didn't know that. That's a pretty cool... I, I like that graphic. <laughs> right to left. Okay. Uh, let's see. Body sculpture. Oh, we, we get into the Sona. And they're just... Uh, facelift after facelift after facelift. Uh, that's... That's disturbing. <laughs> That's a really nice graphic. 
these magazines almost always have really nice, nice graphics. This drawing was meant to show the ship from behind, but VFX producer Peter Lords and sorry, thought it made sense for the shoulders to fly forward. If you look closely at the details of the back, you can see it. harp strings and the pipe work from an organ. Excuse me? If you look closely at the details of the back. Huh, I... I, I, I own a piano and I I know what it looks like on the inside. You can see harp strings and the pipe work from an organ. Huh. I don't know if we're... I don't know. Let's see. Oh, that's a nice graphic right there. Really nice. Eve's produced detailed plan views uh, for the CG modelers, they misspelled modelers there too, who struggled with all the ship's compound uh, curves. They struggled, I know, I mean, I, I designed 3D uh, STL files and the curves, getting the curves right, it's hard. Uh, these renders of the original Santa Barbara Studios model show the ship from the side, top, and front. That is pretty. I like the colors they use. Okay, let's take a look at the ship. Get out of there. Like I said, you you see this as, as I see. Okay, first impressions. I, I don't like the color. I, I like the color in the magazine. Got some nice detailed Aztecan going on there. I do appreciate that. I don't know how they do it. I, I have to research that one of these days. How they get these those paint apps so detailed. That's the bridge, and and I think it's supposed to fly this way. I I, I don't know. I'm still not straight. I read the magazine. Well, I read the the image details. Does it matter? <laughs> I mean, I like the design. Ooh, I like that. I like that. See, the bottom looks really cool. Intakes. Yeah, you see the these uh, translucent parts, which I always appreciate. Translucent parts. Um, yeah, I think, if I remember right, it, it moves like this in the uh, movie. And the bridge doesn't have to be on the front, be back there. I mean, it makes more sense to be back there protected, right? I never did figure out why spaceships have these, like, rudders and stuff. I guess they, if it goes atmospheric, they might help. I don't know. You see those seams right there where they put it together. Looks like it was molded in what? Probably two big parts there, and then these separate parts were glued on. But you can see through there in a couple of places. Pretty sweet. Maybe this part right here is where they were talking about an organ. kind of disappear when you turn the ship and the light a little bit. That's a painted part. That's not a translucent part. I don't think. No? I'm wrong. That's a translucent part. So we've got red on the front and then yellow on the sides here. And a little a splash of yellow right there around what I think must be the bridge. And here's another seam right there. I don't I mean, I like it. I like the design. 
I'm a big fan of, of Mr. Eves. And here we are on its stand. I like it. I better like it, I bought it. But no, I do like the design. I like the movie. Movie wasn't perfect. Watching. We'll see you next video.